in a way. Going to give a few more people a chance to tune in for today's read aloud. Mrs. Brenner just turned, tuned in from the technology room. Mrs. Cabus. Mrs. Hernandez's class with Mrs. Bowers. And we're going to go ahead and start. Before we get started, I want to make some introductions. I want to introduce some of you guys know and some of you guys may not know. Miss West over here. Miss West is our sign language interpreter. And she is to your right in the purple top. She is fantastic. And she's going to um, she's going to be using American Sign Language uh, to help communicate this really wonderful story. So thank you, Miss West. And we also have a special guest reader. We have fifth grader Olivia Foster, who has a very special book to read today. And I got a preview of it yesterday, and I love this book. Olivia, do you want to tell the Panthers out there why you chose this book and the name of the book? Because that guy is good. So, why else would you would you pick it? Because it's good. Did you hear that? Olivia, you're gonna have to speak up, sweetie. Okay. We can hear. Because it's, because it's good. It's a good book. That's a great reason. All right, and what is the name of the book that you chose? Let's hear it for them all. Let's hear it for them all. Are you ready, Olivia, to, to read your story to us? Yes. Okay, take it away. Hi, my name is Amal. Actually, my real name is Ali, so I prefer Amal because I don't know how, I don't know anyone else with that name. I am absolutely, positively the luckiest girl in the world. Do you want to know why? Because I have so many friends and each one is different. Really wear glasses, which make them look even smarter. I wish I could wear glasses too. Only I wear bright pink ones with black ones. My friend Isabella is a whiz at Spanish. She taught me how to say te amo, which means I love you, to my two little viewers, Lucy and Buster. Lucy and Buster are French viewers, so they might not understand so much. So we and Claire are twins. They look so much alike, even their teachers can't tell them apart. Of course I can't. But most of all, I am on top of the world lucky because I have a very best friend who's just like me. Penelope and I will both wear hair maids to help us do. And we both wear them in our favorite colors. Mine are cotton candy pink and Penelope's are great jelly purple. Penelope can speak with her voice and her hands. Speaking with her hands is called sign language, and sign language is supremely awesome. Penelope taught me how to use my fingers like this to say I love you to Lucy and Buster. But do you know what? Sometimes I don't feel even a little bit lucky. Sometimes, some days I think to myself, I know all my friends with the mates. Then other days I feel left out and I can't hear what my friends are saying. I need to hear every single sound in the whole entire universe. Like Isabella's baby, baby runner's giggle. And the robins chirps outside my bedroom window. And the soft swan song in Madame plays down battle. But I always have trouble hearing Chloe King Tony's voice. But worst of all, I feel sad and positively unlucky when mom and dad mom and dad tuck me into bed for the night and i can't hear them say we love you all so what good news i had to go i went to see my human doctor dr casey says mom i think you 
to feel better, to be more coherent and fast. Coherent seems to be the word to say that would be as easy as you think coherent. Dr. Paisley showed me how a cochlear implant has an outside part that looks like my hair in it. I can even get it in my favorite cotton candy paint. But there's another part that Dr. Paisley hooks up to the part to the inside of my ear. I need to have an operation in the hospital to get the inside part of the implant to put inside my little ear. How in the world would they do that? The exercise kind of scares. I, would, I never went to a hospital before, but the operation was a piece of tape. I went home on the very same day wearing a bandage wrap around my head. I would be ridiculous, but I was so excited. Really, Penelope, Isabella, Chloe, and Claire all came to visit, and I told them what I had been practicing for weeks. Not to see how absolutely positively lucky I am, but they're my two pink cochlear implants. Everyone high five me, and so let's hear it for a moment. I hug myself super tight because I felt so happy in that. I tried on my implants with all my favorite outfits. Do I still have cute IF Lucy and Buster? Buster with me from my head to toes, and Lucy ran around and around in the circle. That means I'm so adorable. I worked really hard to learn how to hear with those implants. I practiced every day with me doing listening homework with mom. We read my favorite books out loud. How come no one told me that homework was fun? Would you believe I heard Dr. Paisley so much better when I went back for a checkup and I passed the hearing test with flying colors? I popped my hands and tore around the room when I heard Dr. Paisley say the same words my friend had shouted. Let's hear it for a minute. I need Dr. Paisley as super high tech. Dr. Paisley reminded me, well, you have to take extra special care of your implants, and they will always remember, never get your implants wet. I tried hard to remember the implant rules, but obviously not hard enough. Because guess who jumped into a really strange pool at a 4th of July party and forgot to take their implants off first. My heart beat fast, my eyes filled with tears, and I absolutely, positively, um, and I felt absolutely, positively unlucky, which was not good. But guess who had the smartest mother ever, even though she didn't have a very happy day? Mom dries my implants with her hair dryers. Chloe is my mother. I thought I was pretty smart too when I decided Buster needed a coconut and plant so we listen better. Unfortunately, naughty little Buster had other ideas. While I was putting on my implant on Buster's ear, he suddenly grabbed it in his wet, dirty mouth and took off running all over the house. Really? Penelope, Isabella, Chloe, Claire, and I all tried our best to catch that bad boy and must be my new pink implant before it was destroyed forever. Lily saved the day, but he couldn't save me. Guess who had a time out with it? Trouble, trouble making people. I promised myself over and over I did. I promised myself over and over and up and down that I would never do silly things with my implants again. Do you want to tell me? Do you want me to tell you why? Because my computer implants are my very best ears ever. For real. Now I can hear Isabella's, uh, Isabella's baby brother's giggle, and the robins chirp out by my bedroom window, and the soft swan sun. Madam plays during the class. Even Cody's tiny voice. So let's hear it for me. And that I was absolutely, I positively like, I am the luckiest girl in the world. The most excellent meal of all. Now, mom and dad can tuck me in at the entry bed at night, and I can hear them say, We love you. Good job. We can give, we can give Miss Olivia a round of applause.
That was fantastic. And now we can see your pretty face. And I can ask you, Olivia, what was your favorite part of the book? Did you have a favorite part of the book? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, what? Yeah, yeah, at the end. When she could hear her mother? Yeah. Yeah, when she could hear her mother say, I love you. That was my favorite part, too. Can I tell you my other favorite part? Yeah. I was such a happy little girl, and she reminds me of you, Olivia. I, I really liked when she hugged herself because she was so happy. Do you remember that part? Yeah, that was my that was, that was my other favorite part. Thank you, Olivia, for sharing such a wonderful book. Did you get that from the Pond Library? Is it is that one of our library books? Um, I don't think we have it in there yet. Okay, so now that you've introduced us to that book, we are going to have at least a couple of copies in the library because I think we're going to have some boys and girls who are going to want to read it here at Pond Elementary School. So thank you for introducing us to that wonderful book. Thank you, Olivia. You did, you did a great job. Miss West, you did a great job, too. Um, Miss West, while, while we have you, will you show everybody how to say thank you? Because we want to give Olivia a big thank you, and we want to thank you as well. How do you, in American Sign Language, say thank you? Let's all practice that together, all together now. Thank you. And thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it. Olivia, last thing, do you want to say hello to uh, some uh, some of your family members who are joining us this afternoon? Uh, grandma, Grandpa, <laughs> who else is there? Mommy and Poppy, Mommy and Dad. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, thank Mark, you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Miss West and Mrs. Casillas. Have a wonderful rest of your day.